Welcome to unit 6 of this course. In the last unit, we saw what are called Omega regular properties. In this unit, we would concentrate on checking these Omega regular properties on transition systems. We will see algorithms that take as input a transition system and an Omega regular property and outputs whether the property is true on this transition system or not. In the first module, I will give an overview of what we are going to see in this unit. This is the question that we are interested in. Does transition system satisfy omega regular property? What is an omega regular property? It is a property which is specified using an omega regular expression phi. So given a transition system and an omega regular expression, we want to check if all traces of this transition system belong to the language of this omega regular expression. We will see that Every omega regular expression can be converted to a non-deterministic Bushy automaton A phi such that the language of this omega regular expression is exactly the same as the language of this Bushy automaton. Essentially, we are looking at this omega regular expression as a non-deterministic Bushy automaton. Moreover, we know how to convert transition systems into automata. We have seen this when we were talking about model checking regular safety properties. We took a transition system. It had atomic propositions as labels on the states. We passed these labels onto each of the outgoing transitions. In this case, we will get a non-deterministic Bushy automaton. The resulting system is seen as a non-deterministic Bushy automaton. So you have a Bushy automaton for the transition system and you have a Bushy automaton for the property. What we want to check is that is the language of this Bushy automaton contained in the language of this one that is is every trace of the transition system, in other words, is every word in this language satisfying the property phi? That is what this means. The traces of a transition system get converted to words accepted by this Bushy automaton, and these are the set of infinite words which satisfy a property. To check if the transition system satisfies the property, we need to check if the language of this Bushy automaton is contained in the language of the property Bushy automaton. So this is the first step. We have transformed this question into a question involving two Bushy automata and the inclusion in between them. Suppose I have two Bushy automata, A and B, how do I check if the language of one is contained in the language of the other? Let's have a look. Suppose this represents the set of all infinite words. A language is just a set of words. Suppose this green circle represents the set L of A. This is the set of words in this language. Suppose the red circle represents the set of words in the language of B. In this picture, L of A is contained in L of B. Let us look at the portion outside this red circle. What is this set? Outside this red circle, this is going to be the set of words which are not in L of B. So this set outside this circle is going to be L of B complement. 
if L of A is contained in L of B, then the complement of L of B does not intersect with L of A. Clearly, no word here can belong to L of A. On the other hand, suppose we have L of A and L of B are in this manner, that is L of A is not contained in L of B. Why? Because these words are not in L of B. In this case, look at the complement of L of B. It's going to be everything outside this red circle and clearly in this case the complement intersects L of A. So these are exactly the words in the complement which intersect L of A. If L of A is contained in L of B, then the complement of L of B does not intersect L of A. If L of A is not contained in L of B, then the complement of L of B intersects L of A. So, the question whether L of A is contained in L of B is the same as asking whether L of A intersection the complement of L of B is empty or not. Why is this useful? Let us see. So this is what we are interested in. To check if a transition system satisfies an omega regular property, we need to check if the language of ATS is contained in L of A phi. This is the same as asking if the language of ATS intersection the complement of this language. So you look at the language of this automaton and take the complement. This question is the same as asking if this intersection is empty. Now we have seen that Bushy automata are closed under complementation. That means if I give you a Bushy automaton, it is possible to construct a Bushy automaton recognizing the complement language. So, L of A phi complement is going to be the language of some other Bushy automaton which can be constructed from A phi. So, we did not see how to do that. However, we, we will assume that given an A phi, it is possible to construct an automaton A bar phi such that L of this A bar is going to be the complement of L of A phi. So now what do we have? We have to check if the language of this Bushy automaton intersection language of this Bushy automaton is empty or not. Let us now recall the modified product construction through which we could get an automaton, a Bushy automaton, which represents the intersection of these two. We know that given A and B, we have a way of constructing a product such that the language of this product is the intersection of the languages of A and B. So this question boils down to asking if the language of the product, this is a modified product, is it empty or not? We have seen this modified product in the last unit. You could have a look. Okay, so the question, does the transition system satisfy an omega regular property is converted to checking emptiness of some Bushy automaton. There are two things in this flow which we have not discussed yet. The first one is that an omega regular expression can be converted to a non-deterministic Bushy automaton. And secondly, we have not discussed the check for emptiness. Given a Bushy automaton, how do we check if the language of the Bushy automaton is empty or not? These are the two things which are left to be explained and we will be seeing that in this unit. In module 2, we will see how to convert an omega regular expression to a non-deterministic 
Bushi automaton and in modules 3 and 4 we will see how to check the language emptiness of a non-deterministic Bushi automaton. This is a very important slide which gives an overall view of the algorithm for model checking omega regular property. Please go through this explanation if you are not clear. And once you are confident with this, you could jump to the next module where we will talk about converting an omega regular expression to a non-deterministic Bushi automaton.